welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and today we are going to take a look at the Zemi smart energy monitor smart energy monitor this is actually the smallest energy monitor that I reviewed that I've tested it's also the cheapest one that we have used so far and if you are curious if it's accurate or not it is I will share with you in just a few moments some tests right over here actually I don't have it here because it it is on my breaker so I want to do some tests and share with you and it's also capable of handling up to 63 amps this is something that I don't want to miss it's roughly 13,000 watts so if your house has less than 13,000 watts or 13 kilowatt hour power you will be able to use this one on your household and measure all the consumptions that you have. Now, one of the consumptions might be from your computers and if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, you will get a bit of discount and you will get cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out, link will be down below. And now let's take a closer look at the Zemi Smart Smart Energy Monitor. And by the way, I will leave some links right over here on the YouTube cards for some Zemi Smart devices that we have used, including a gateway that we will need to connect this device right over here. Inside the package, we will find the Zemi Smart Smart Energy Consumption Monitor, and we will also find a small manual. Now you can see by the size, it is the smallest one that we have seen. Now usually we use clamps to measure power and this whole sensor is the size of a normal clamp that we usually use so really awesome so if we don't have much space on our circuit breaker this will be great now in terms of the installation is easy as connecting two cables neutral and phase so that is it having in mind that if you don't know what you are doing you are guessing then forget about it just call an electrician someone that knows what it's doing and although it's simple we are talking about electricity so just turn everything off work what you have to do and that is it that being said the connection is just connecting those two wires and then we will need and this is the only drawback that i do find instead of opening a clamp and closing on the wire that we want to measure in this particular case we will need to disconnect the wire from the circuit breaker and then pass through the sensor and then connect it again this is the only downside it's nothing that huge but once again we need to know what we are doing that being connected then we can pair and to pair as i said we need a gateway and with that gateway we just need to open the app which by the way is the tuya app and once we have the app open then we will search for the device it will include on our devices and basically that is it in a couple of minutes we will have the device measuring our Power. Now in terms of measurements and we will have the chance to see but I did compare with sensors that I've got on my circuit breaker and those are tested more than tested so really accurate although they are not um, smart sensors they are accurate and I did also compare with the Shelly app which we will compare as well right over here so it's accurate talking about the app let's take a look at it so here we are with the two-year app and what i've got connected at this moment only is the semi smart zigbee hub and also the power consumption sensor so this is what we have a clean setup but we can add more devices we have seen how to do that as well in the past and right now if i press right over here i will have access to the total energy that i did consume and a bit more information that i will share with you now one of the things that we are going to do is i'm going to turn on my water heater which is connected to a shell device so i'm just going to press it and at this moment it is using about 2.5 kilowatts 2.6 it will go on that range i've got a timer of five minutes to turn it off but just leave it like this and if i go back to the two year app what we have right now is values have changed 1479 watts or 2.478 
kilowatts with a 11.6 current amps in this particular case and a voltage of 213 more or less so this is the real-time information that we will find right over here this is the total value that we have used of power and right over here we can see the daily usage so if i press it right over here we will have the total that i did use today 1.89 kilowatts so far if i go yesterday i did use 1.02 kilowatts so we have this data per day i can also select per month which is great and i can also select per year so if i go by year uh, we will have month of october which is still using of course we are just testing this for a couple of days but if we keep it on our network working it will give us the whole history which is great right over here we can analyze which month we have um, used more power less power and then by year 2022 to 2023 and so on and so forth so this is just awesome and i can select also the hour how much did i uh, spend right over here how much did i spend right over here the same on month basis how much did i spend today how much did i spend yesterday so we will have all this info right over here now besides this info which in my opinion is one of the most valuable infos and also the real-time power where i can see exactly when i turn on a device and i know exactly how much that device how much energy that device is using so i have an idea if i'm spending too much or not and i can do adjustments on my routine so these are the most important to me there are also one which is important this one right over here which says zero is the electricity that will go on the other side so if you have solar power and at certain times of the day you are sending energy to the grid you will see it right over here now i do have solar power as you know but this set right over here is on a smaller circuit breaker that i use to heat my water so there is no current going on the other side but i did test it out turning it to the other way and it works like that so awesome as well for those that have solar panels now this menu right over here is a balance of credits and, and this is the only thing that i do not find that useful but there might some scenarios that they are if we go right over here on the charge what happens is that we have a balance this balance i did send to myself and if i press the charge uh, if i have a number right over here like the 15 and i press save it will add that to the balance so if i refresh right now uh, it will say that at this moment i've got 56.98 um, kilowatt hour of credits so i'm not really sure how can i use this probably if i want to measure a section of a house for someone that it's renting the house or something like that but other than that i don't see the scenario that we could use now we also have settings right over here we have some alarm records that we can set up i don't have any at this moment high power alarm so we can enable disable if it passes beyond the maximum which as we can see is the 13 kilowatts and we also have um, some alarms right over here that we can customize enable and disable but basically this is it and here on top we also have some options we can see the device information and besides the device information create some automatizations with other devices if we have them with our two app we can share the device and there's also the option to update the device when there's a firmware update and besides that if i want to remove the device i can also do so these are the basic options but to me the most important part is this total number right over here with this number right over here which we have the option to see all this information along with the real-time power now i believe that we are finishing up one second the power will go out so we will see here when it refreshes that the power of my water heater just uh, shut down and we are back at zero so this is really nice when i want to find out each device that i use if i turn on how much does that device is using power how much this device and then once we have in mind what each device uses in terms of power we will be more rational in terms of usage and basically this is it the smallest and cheapest energy power consumption smart sensor that we have seen so far which i would say that if you are looking for something that you don't have enough room on your circuit breaker this will be the smallest that i've seen 
on budget the only situation that i would see that it's not so easy is that we will need to remove the wire put it in right over here and then put it on the circuit breaker again instead of opening a clamp and closing that's the only disadvantage that i see the app is great it's accurate so no issues whatsoever that i did find i will leave a link down below hope that the video was helpful and that you enjoyed and if that was the case don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one